but it's, you know, Morgan's story has affected so many people uh, on, on both a local and national scale. And, uh, you know, I remember when I was a kid myself, uh, you heard about Morgan, you heard about what happened to her. Uh, I'm close to the same age as Morgan was. So I remember um, hearing how uh, the girl was kidnapped from the Alma ballpark right out from under her mom's nose. And, and nobody, you know, it, it was a, it was a lesson to all of us just to stay close. And it, and it so it rung home to me uh, and kids my age at that time, very personally. Uh, and then it expanded over the past 24 years into uh, a national spotlight. Um, and, and people around the country were looking for Morgan, were resonating with her story. And it's a story that has been told um, to a lot of the public for a lot of good reasons, but a lot of reasons nobody really understands. And uh, the producers of this project wanted to come in and, and, and offer any assistance to the Nick family, not knowing what was going on, um, and offer a different avenue to try to help search for Morgan that uh, law enforcement may not have. And that's what, that's what ended up bringing us all together. So Colleen, when you were approached about this project, what was your initial thoughts? So um, honestly, my initial thought was no, because we have a really incredible law enforcement team who have worked very, very hard for 24 years and are still working hard. But as we, and this has been a months long process. So as we began to sit down with the producers and kind of hear their vision and um, began to give them some exclusive looks into Morgan's case, what we found is that we could all come onto the same page and use this as a tool to try to find Morgan and bring her home. So how do you think this will benefit that, that process in finding her? Um, I think, I know that somebody knows the truth about what happened to Morgan and um, may actually have evidence, which is part of what this is about right now is, you know, asking people while they're home, while everyone's quarantined to look back through old photographs and old, vi old videotapes from the day that Morgan was taken from the time around that Morgan was taken on June 9th, 1995 and see if maybe you have something that you didn't even know you had and submit it to this project. Um, but beyond that, somebody knows the truth of what happened to Morgan, and Morgan deserves justice. Mm -hmm. Deserves to be fought for, and she deserves to be found. And that's the outcome that I'm looking for, for justice for Morgan and to be able to bring her home. What are, what are you looking for specifically? Yeah, we're specifically looking for photos that, that were at or around the vicinity of the ballpark from either June 7th, 8th, 9th, when she was abducted, 10th or the 11th, anything around that area, anything you may be unsure of, we'd rather be able to look at it and see it um, and you just not send it in. And you know, something else to, to really uh, think about is, you know, people move a lot nowadays. People who may have lived in Alma or, or been in this area at the time, maybe across the country. That's why it's important to get it out, uh, to get the message out so that people can, can see that, have the opportunity to look at it. And, and, you know, some people don't like or have you know other circumstances that that would deter them from contacting law enforcement. And this is an opportunity to send us maybe what you have, um, and that in the, in the branch of assistance we're trying to offer as as a documentary crew, um, as someone who's putting our eyes on it, and then can get it out to millions of Americans and people around the world. We're hoping that you'll send that into us if there's been something that's that's put you off from sending that in in the past. Yeah. So Colleen, is there something that people specifically should be looking for or just any photos that were taking, uh, taken around the vicinity, you want to see them? Right. Anything that was taken, we really want to see it. Um, and I think Devin would probably agree with this, although we are specifically looking for that particular time frame, the 7th through the 12th around the Alma area. We also know that the person who took Morgan um, has been other places, has done other things. And so you know, if you've been somewhere else and had an incident happen and you may have captured that on video or with photos or something, go ahead and contact the producers, um, send it to us and let us take a look at it and, and make that determination. Do you feel like Morgan's story has, hasn't been told like it should, hasn't been out there as much as maybe you, you hope? You know, it's funny because I think Morgan's story has been told a lot. We've had really a lot of national media but we've also, over 24 years, we're looking at a new generation of people who don't know Morgan's story, who haven't heard it. And, you know, this, this is the generation who were six years old when Morgan was six years old. This is Devin's generation. Um, these are who 
the people are that are going to be watching the documentary. You know, these are the people who have maybe heard the stories in their families over the years or who heard the rumors or the allegations who will now tell the truth. Mm -hmm. I think that's the population that we're reaching out to, the people who haven't really heard Morgan's story yet. Right. Once the lid was opened uh, and the trust was built with the crew to be able to come in, I learned more about this case than I ever knew went on. I learned more about um, the, the efforts that went into this case. Um, and, and to be honest with you, one of the, the harder things to talk about is, is the, the deepness of the pain, um, or the depth of the pain that the family went through. All of these things, uh, most of what you'll see here, you know, matter of fact, one of the things that we've tried to do in the documentary is if it has, if it's already out there, people already know what it is, we have no interest in telling it again. Uh, we want it to be very exclusive on that level. And, and I'll tell you as a former Arkansan, uh, it's, it'll be pretty shocking to you to, to see what's been going on for 24 years consistently in this case from both fighting from the family and fighting from law enforcement. And in addition to that, um, you know, the, to follow an, an open and active case as a documentary crew is a pretty unprecedented uh, thing to do. Uh, you don't see that much. Most documentaries you see are closed cases or cases that uh, are open but cold um, and there's, there's no work being done, there's no information to be shared or, or there's no active investigations going on. Uh, so we hit a couple of, of unpre unprecedented levels with this documentary uh, that just from a filmmaking perspective is very unique uh, and exclusive to me. Uh, and as an audience, as a viewer, uh, I think when you, when you see a first trailer, or you see a first teaser of this, whether you know Morgan's story or not, you're going to see an unprecedented level of, of uh, collaboration in it um, with law enforcement and the family. And I, I would say most, most people in Arkansas are going to want to tune into it just to, to know to know more about the girl that everybody knows, but they don't know deeper than, you know, maybe just her name. And you know, our ultimate hope, Ashley, is that people will watch this documentary and that they will see Morgan in a way that they have not seen her before and that she would um, capture their hearts in a way that would give them the courage to do what is right, and that is to tell the truth and let us bring her home. How can they contact you, Devin? Uh, so we have a website set up specifically for this. Uh, it was designed exactly for this moment. It's still missing Morgan.com. There's a contact form there. And you know, a lot of times people go to a website and they don't, they're like, okay, well, here's a form, here's an email it's gonna fall on deaf ears, it's not. It goes straight to one of our producers here, they'll contact somebody within the you know the 24 hours um, and, and they'll start working one-on-one -on -one with you on how to view the materials that you have, uh, get them to us if they're uh, of, of an interest to us. Uh, and then also what the opportunity is. You know, the, the additional thing that we're able to offer here that, that usually isn't offered with law enforcement is if this is something we can use in this documentary uh, to, to further, further this case anyway, further bring eyes onto this case, we're offering compensation for that. You know, this, mm -hmm. these are pieces that uh, that someone else took that could be part of the documentary, could be broadcast out to everybody when this goes out. And and we're, we're extending that opportunity to people as well. So we hope that that's even more of a, an encouragement for people to really submit. Uh, go, go back through, you know, in a time when everybody's locked in their homes mm -hmm. pretty much. Go back through, look through some old tapes, look through some old phot photographs. And if it's something that you think may be able to help or you think is of interest, send it on or, or open up a dialogue with us and we can talk to you about it. Is there a deadline? Do they need to get this stuff in as soon as possible? Go ahead and start looking through it today if they can. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, look, we're, we're still in the middle of the documentary process right now. We, you know, we're not, we're not trying to pr promote it uh, to, to have you go watch it right now. It's not out. Um, and so it'll, it'll be several months before we're even to that process. So we're, we're still compiling and making these things. The sooner the better always in a case like this. Um, and, you know, I, I think something important to realize, too, is that um, with a, a lot of times people don't know what's going on behind the curtain of an open case. So what's so unique about this documentary is is the ability that we've had to to access things that law enforcement and the Nick family themselves have opened themselves up to. It's a very hard thing from a family uh, perspective to to open up about a tragedy like this in, in so many ways. Uh, and it's also very difficult for law enforcement who have been working on this for, for several years to trust someone from the outside to come in and reveal information that has never been revealed before. What people need to understand is there's a lot going on behind closed doors. So 
when Colleen says, send anything that may be uh, suspicious to you or that you may have encountered, you don't know how that could help. You don't know what it is that law enforcement is looking for, and most of it we don't either, but we're able to offer this as, as an option to, to help in a way it, with a reach that they don't have. How long have you guys been in the process of, of working on the documentary so far? Uh, it's been about 10 months now that we've been working on the ground in Fort Smith and Alma. Uh, you know, a lot of those, as Colleen mentioned early on, we spent several months meeting with the Nick family, meeting with law enforcement on both the local and federal levels and, and really asking them to open the book of their lives for the past several years, which again is a very difficult thing, especially when you have a crew coming in to try to tell that story and to try to see from an unbiased perspective what's happened here for the past 24 and a half years. Yeah. So uh, it's been a, it's been a long process, but uh, you know, we're 10 months into it and, and we'll do whatever it takes to finish the project. And I'm just so glad that, you know, sometimes we hear these, these crime stories, Devin, you know, and in law enforcement may be hesitant to jump in and give details, but it sounds like in this case that everyone is working together really well too. It, look, Again, I come from the perspective of I didn't know anything else about it more than you did when I first got here. And I didn't know what, you know, if, if, if this book was to be open, what we would find. I didn't. Um, and as you start to see what's been going on, you realize it's also unique in a way that it's not your typical story. You don't, you don't generally have the family and law enforcement working so closely together. You don't have law enforcement who have been dedicated for that long. And at a time when uh, so many people are listening to social media, podcasts, uh, television shows that, that once again, they reach out to the public. Uh, you know, we don't have near the resources. As a documentary crew, we don't have near the resources that law enforcement does. But what we do have is we have an outreach to the public and a call for engagement. And that's what this is. Uh, so many times through podcasts or whatever they may be, you see cases like this that end up being solved or end up you know, finding a conclusion, and it's because someone in the public who has, as Colleen said, has information, knows things that happen that have never been brought forward because of because of fear, because of uh, lack of interest, lack of engagement, whatever that may be. We want to use this as an, as an additional tool that hasn't been utilized in 24 and a half years, and say, if you're out there, please engage with us, help close this story, help bring Morgan home. It has been 24 years. And do you feel at any point in this 24 years that you've gotten close or there have been leads that you think, okay, this is it. We're really about to find out what happened to her. You know, there have been some, some times over the years that we've had some leads that we thought this could actually, this could actually be it. They were actually, you know, had a child in front of them in another state or, you know, had, um, a perpetrator who was confessing and only to find out later that it wasn't true, which is really heartbreaking for our family. But we know that the truth is still out there, that somebody holds that truth. And our, my greatest wish is that that person would just have enormous courage. Mm -hmm. Truth. 